Hello, very good morning to you. Welcome to BBC News. Some breaking news just in this morning, and that's that the former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan has died at the age of 80. Mr Annan, who was a Ghanaian by birth, had held the post of Secretary General of the UN for 10 years until the end of December 2006. He was the first uh, 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 head of the UN from a sub-Saharan -Sub African country, having followed the Egyptian Dr Boutros Boutros Kali in the job. He later served as UN Special Envoy for Syria, leading unsuccessful attempts to find a peaceful solution to the civil war there. Mr Annan won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2001 for his attempts to revitalise the UN. He also famously founded the UN Global Health Fund and campaigned for action against HIV. Uh, let's uh, get uh, the statement now that has been issued within the last half hour by the Kofi Annan Foundation. It reports that with immense sadness, uh, the family of Kofi Annan and the Kofi Annan Foundation has announced that it, the former Secretary General of the United Nations and Nobel Peace Laureate passed away peacefully on Saturday the 18th of August after a short illness. His wife and their children, uh, three children, were by his side in his final days. Kofi Annan, it goes on to say, was a global statesman and a deeply committed internationalist who fought throughout his life for a fairer and more peaceful world. During a distinguished career and his leadership of the UN, he was an ardent champion of peace, sustainable development, human rights and the rule of law. After stepping down from the UN, he continued to work tirelessly in the cause of peace through chairmanship of the Kofi Annan Foundation and chairing the Elders, the group originally founded by Nelson Mandela. Mr Annan was an inspiration to young and old alike. Kofi Annan was a son of Ghana and felt a special responsibility towards Africa. He was particularly committed, the statement says, to African development and deeply engaged in many initiatives, including his chairmanship of the Africa Progress Panel and his early leadership of the Alliance for Green Revolution in Africa. Wherever there was suffering or need, he reached out and touched many people with his deep compassion and empathy. He selflessly placed others first, radiating genuine kindness, warmth and brilliance in all he did. He will be greatly missed by so many around the world, as well as his staff here at the Foundation and his many former colleagues in the United Nations system. He will remain in our hearts forever.